Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about litter training your rabbit, helping you get set up and giving you some useful tips to fix some of those common problems that can arise. So let's get stuck in. This is Peppa and that there is Wally, I think you can just about see him. Um, we are the Bunnies Brigade and we're here to bring awareness to proper rabbit care and help you guys unlock the charming, adorable personalities of these wonderful, intelligent creatures. Hi Peppa. Yay! Yay, treats for Wally. Treats for Wally. Okay, today we're talking about litter training. Um, I often get asked, but don't they poo everywhere? No, no, they absolutely do not. These guys are actually absolutely marvelous when it comes to their, their um, toilet habits. Hi, yes. In fact, they can even be easier to train than a cat. And that's largely to do with the fact that they're prey animals. In the wild, prey animals will generally gravitate to relieving themselves in designated places to make it harder for predators to track them. Therefore, you may just need to simply put a litter box down and away you go. So to start off, you're going to need a litter box, paper-based or wood pellet litter, um, lots of hay, and an X-Pen, an adjustable X-Pen. So with the litter box, you're looking for a cat-sized litter box. Some people use a small storage container. Either is great, but I would avoid the ones that are just specifically advertised for bunnies because they were often just far too small. A rabbit should be able to stand up in the box and turn 360 degrees around. We like to use an extra large, high-sided litter box that can fit both of them at the same time so they can just happily be in there for as long as they like and easily move around each other. Your litter should be recycled paper or compressed wood pellets. Do not, under any circumstances, use clumping cat litter. Um, they can ingest this and it can just plain kill them. It's as simple as that. Also, wood shavings aren't ideal. They're not great for the respiratory tract of, of the bunny and um, I just do not even touch the stuff. It's just messy and horrible. Pour your litter or bedding into the box and spread it out to line the bottom. I like to say one to two centimeters deep and that's about half an inch. Some people like to use a puppy pad or newspaper underneath. I personally don't think you need it, but I do get why people do it. It makes cleaning up a lot easier because um, you can just roll that puppy pad up and in you're done. Um, I mean, it's, it, it's absolutely not necessary at all. Uh, with puppy pads, just watch out. The rabbits might chew the plastic and then you have a problem. So just, just a word of caution. The hay, the hay is really important. You must put it in a rack over the litter box or in the litter box itself. Bunnies like to eat hay whilst they're on the toilet. I think this can be a common mistake people make if they're not aware of this. If you have the hay somewhere else outside the litter box, you might be finding your bunny is going next to the hay source and not in the box. Peppa and Wally are free roam bunnies. They don't have an X pen at all. But if your rabbits aren't litter trained, you will need to start with an X pen and you will need to make it a relatively small space, especially if they're babies as well. This is only a temporary thing and what will happen is as we learn where their place is to go to the toilet, you can start to expand this area. So you've got your setup. You're gonna place the box in the corner either of your choosing but preferably of their choosing. If there is a specific corner where you're finding that they prefer to go, I would really start there because it may, like I said before, it may be as simple as just placing the box there and you're good to go. Um, if you don't know what corner and they're just kind of going everywhere, you pick a corner. Try to place some soiled bedding into the box so they can smell the scent and work out for themselves where to go. If they pee outside the box, with some paper towel, mop up the pee and just put the paper towel into the litter box. You're then gonna just sterilize the area where they went with vinegar is the best just to neutralize the smell so they understand that that's not where you go anymore. Now you've got to watch your bunny. They will lift their tails to pee, and some will be very, very obvious. Uh, like Peppa, she really likes to squat. She's like a clean freak, so you can tell when she's doing it. Um, and if you see them doing this outside of the litter box, you just very gently, but immediately, pick them up and place them in the box. You can, if you choose, give a loud, sharp no and possibly clap your hands. Um, if rabbits are given a fright, 
in whilst they're going to the toilet they will start to learn not to go in that place anymore because um they i mean like all animals they feel vulnerable when they're going to the toilet so they'll probably not do it so that's why that potential training method could work but generally um again you clean it up where they've gone with a paper towel put it in the litter box make sure you neutralize the area and you just keep the key is with training is you just gotta keep with consistency keep repeating it keep going and and you'll get there eventually i highly recommend also rewarding your bunny if they're going in the right place if you see them in the litter box lifting up their tail give them a reward. A high value reward is great if you're just starting out something like bananas or raisins or whatever your rabbit really, really loves. My bunnies are all about their pellets. It's nice and easy, they're dry, they're clean, and I can keep them in a jar like this close by all the time and I can give them a reward for anything that they're doing that's, that's yay, good, good job. So I just want to go over some common problems, some of them I've already mentioned, um, but chances are you're watching this video not because you don't know how to set up your bunny's area and their litter box, but because you're having some issues with them taking to it. So number one, just make sure your litter box isn't too small. If you have one of those tiny ones that is marketed specifically for bunnies, they're probably like a little corner one, it's probably too small. It's probably been good if you've had like a baby bunny but they may have outgrown it and um, some bunnies I did my my last bun she used one for years and she was fine she was just very good with just like hopping in and hopping out so and some people I watch this being like oh, I have one of those little little ones and it just works just fine yeah it might work just fine for you but others it may be the cause of a problem that the bunny is either going over the edge or they're just not comfortable in it so yes get a cat litter litter box if you can or a big storage container number two in regards to litter boxes I've had issues before with elderly bunnies um, not being able to get into the litter box so that might be your problem if you've adopted a bunny or if you're now having a problem with your rabbit in its senior years do they have arthritis are they having some issues with with stepping up into the litter box in which case you maybe need to get something with a lower entrance or I have even like cut out um, uh, cut lower entrances into my litter boxes in order to help my last bun get into them. Number three, the hay, as I've mentioned, if it's not in the litter box, you're probably having problems. So just move that hay, I've, I mean I've said a lot about it already, but just move that hay into the litter box, either in a rack over, over it or inside it. It doesn't matter as long as it's just in that litter box. Um, and then some people might have problems with bunnies. If it's not high side litter box, they might be reaching over and eating the hay and just peeing outside the box whilst they eat the hay. A hooded litter box might work for you in that case. Or just try and reposition the hay to where they can't reach in and grab. So number four might be that your bunny's play area is too big. Um, maybe you've just skipped straight ahead to free roam, or they have a whole room, or their their X-Pen is just too much space. In order to advance them on to have all the space in the world, we're gonna have to confine them a bit temporarily until they get where they're going. Because if they have a whole room, for example, they may be going in one corner and then they may be sitting, having a sleep over in the other corner, wake up and be like, wait, where did I go? Oh, I'll just start a new corner over here. So we need to eliminate that problem. So if you're finding your rabbit is going in the litter box, but they're also going in some other opposite corner of the pen or room, then that is probably your problem is you just have too big a space. So just the space, make it smaller, as painful as it is to confine them to smaller spaces, you will get there and, and it's, it's baby steps, baby steps. Number five is placing your litter box not where your bunny is going to the toilet. If you're insisting on one certain corner, rabbits can be stubborn and they may not want, they may just may not take to it. I have been so lucky and not have had a, a bunny that's that stubborn when it comes to their toilet habits. But um, if your bunny has already chosen a spot, just go with it. So number six, one I haven't mentioned yet, you may be cleaning their litter box too frequently. It's something that I've seen occasionally on social media is people um, say, I clean their space um, like, twice a day and I clean their litter box twice a day and I neutralize everything with vinegar. Uh, in that case, you're actually confusing the rabbit. If you're neutralizing everything with vinegar, 
that bunny is not going to establish a place and they're going to keep trying to re-establish different places um so yes neutralize the area with vinegar but try and um clean your litter box out every three four days or every week depending on how many bunnies you have how big the litter box is um etc um so if you are litter training every day i, d I don't think is going to be the most effective way to teach them which corner to go in. So number seven is one that's advisable not just for litter training, but they may be four to six months old and they are ready to be spayed or neutered. Some people um, say, you know, oh, my bunny's litter habits have been great um, and my bunny's about six months old and now they're just peeing um, behind my sofa or something like that and and that um, is a case of their reach maturity and they're now marking territory and things like that in ways you don't want them to be um, so I strongly advise getting them spayed or neutered you can litter train a rabbit that's not spayed or neutered but they're just easier to litter train if they are um, and you're going to have less accidents. My last bun, referring to my last bun again, she was not spayed for a, a, a half of her life, um, and she was great with her litter habits, but she did sometimes pee, as an example I said before, behind the sofa and on my bed. I remember she peed on my bed. These may be things that are like, oh, my bunny does that. And I'm telling you now, from my own experience, it's because she was they're not spayed or neutered because as soon, once I got her spayed, she completely stopped all of that and she was gold, she was perfect. Until her senior years, where she, until a very, very late senior years, where she actually became um, incontinent. Which brings me to number eight. Your bunny may just be very, very old. Maybe they had perfect lip litter habits before um, and they're incontinent. If normally your bunny does have good litter habits um, and they're suddenly, hello, treats for Wooly, treats for Wooly, and they're suddenly not going in the litter box, you must take them to the vet because it could be a health issue. Um, it could be urinary infection. Um, it could be any number of things. So if this, this is, um, abnormal behavior in your bunny because they usually are perfect with their litter habits take them to the vet and get them checked out some things to remember though um, is be patient especially if they're little babies babies of any species take time to learn things human children take time to learn things oh my gosh I would rather litter train a bunny than toilet train a dog you need to take time off work to toilet train a dog also if they've adopted bad habits previously maybe you've rescued them or maybe you've just made some mistakes along the way which is totally not your fault um it will just rabbits like their routine so it's just going to take some time to, to show them some redirection and for them to to and to reinforce it and for them to grasp it you also find the odd little poop ball here and there sometimes they'll accidentally just flick them out of the litter box when they jump out because they're balls they just roll around sometimes it's like a territory thing they just be like this is my space so they'll leave a one or two poops just so everyone knows this is my space <laughs> and sometimes actually bunnies because they they're because they're herbivores um, because they have a very different digestive system to us um, and to a dog or a cat they actually I've, I've heard that they actually kind of don't really realize they're pooping sometimes when they're pooping. So sometimes they can just be hopping along and a poop can just fall out. Um, so so often that's just a, just a mistake on their part, just a little accident and it's not their fault and it's you're not gonna change it. It's when you're seeing big piles of poop, like collective piles of poop, that's when you know they're not litter trained. Um, and it's the pee. If they're peeing not in the litter box, they're not litter trained. But if it's the odd little poop, it's just an accident or a little territory marking. All right, so that's it guys. My bunnies left me a long time ago, so there's been no entertainment. They're having their nap and I don't blame them. <laughs> so yeah, I hope I've helped to fix some of your problems that you may have had and that's why you sought out this video. Um, but if I haven't and you do have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up guys. We are a brand new channel, so please hit the subscribe button. If you've enjoyed this video, spread the word, ring the notification bell, and we will try and bring you some more videos very soon.